Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What did the Supreme Court decide in 1954? In 1954, the U.S. Supreme Court heard a landmark case that would change the course of American history. This case, known as Brown v. Board of Education, originated in Topeka, Kansas, where Oliver Brown and 12 other black families filed a class action lawsuit against the Topeka Board of Education. The lawsuit was sparked by the refusal of the Topeka public school system to enroll Oliver Brown's daughter in the school closest to their home, instead requiring her to attend a segregated black school farther away. The families argued that this segregation policy was unconstitutional. The case was initially heard by a U.S. District Court in Kansas, which ruled against the Browns, citing the precedent set by the Supreme Court's 1896 decision in Plessy v. Ferguson. This earlier decision had established the separate but equal doctrine, which allowed racial segregation as long as the facilities were equal in quality. However, the Browns, represented by NAACP Chief Counsel Thurgood Marshall, appealed this decision to the U.S. Supreme Court. The Supreme Court consolidated Brown v. Board of Education with four other similar cases from different states and the District of Columbia. The Supreme Court heard arguments in December 1952 and re-argued the case in December 1953 to address specific questions about the 14th Amendment and its implications on racial segregation in public education. The justices were initially divided, but after the death of Chief Justice Fred Vinson and the appointment of Earl Warren, the court moved towards a unanimous decision. On May 17, 1954, Chief Justice Earl Warren delivered the Supreme Court's unanimous decision. The court ruled that laws mandating racial segregation in public schools were unconstitutional, even if the segregated schools were otherwise equal in quality. The decision stated that separate educational facilities are inherently unequal and thus violate the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. This ruling overturned the separate but equal doctrine established by Plessy v. Ferguson and marked a significant milestone in the civil rights movement. However, the decision did not specify how to implement desegregation, leading to a follow-up decision in Brown II in 1955, which ordered states to desegregate with all deliberate speed. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.